tree started as let's show harm that humans do to nature. So you get to experience life and the death of a being. Your body becomes a tree. What we hope for is for people maybe to understand nature more through inhabiting the nature. That's a true gift of VR because you can immediately communicate with your audience. Everything is CG. We are creating a fully immersive jungle environment. That is no easy task when it comes to computing. There is nothing easy about VR. That's like the first thing. There is nothing like glamorous about VR. In its current state, it very much feels like you are building the bridge and going full speed over it at the same time. As soon as we got inside the headset, we noticed that we were dropping like well below 45 frames a second. And immediately everyone got nauseated. The last thing you want to do in a VR experience is to make the audience sick because that's all they will be talking about. We were very fortunate to be able to have HP and NVIDIA join our team. With the new Z-Series workstations and the Quadro graphics cards, we were going from 45 frames a second all the way up to 90. It was locked at 90. I think it probably went well above 100. With the P6000, we're able to just shred through all those polys. When you go to a festival, uh, if you have a traditional film, it's screening twice. Our VR piece is screening every 10 minutes, 8 hours, days, uh, 10 days in a row. We ship these workstations all over the world. And when we arrive at the event, it's paramount that it has to turn on and has to be able to play our experience flawlessly. At Sundance this year, we were able to get about 500 people through the experience. Everything went as planned. With HP, it's not just a tech partnership. They also believe in the work we are doing, in the message we are doing. What is amazing is people reacted very emotionally. Um, we had a lot of people cried. For us, it's very important to, to educate people on messages of climate change, but we don't want to hit them over the head with it. We want them to feel it. That's the difference between VR and a lot of other forms of traditional media. As soon as you see their jaw drop, that's when you know that, that it's working. The hope is that that can evoke certain empathy and therefore broaden the understanding of the audience for deforestation that is a big factor of climate change today.